Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayan. And if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Welcome, 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 everyone. I'm about to go in on this beautiful read for the collective for today, which is the open portal. One, one, one. I needed that. I really did. Well, let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. I call in air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I also call upon the highest of the high, which is Yod Hevahe, who will give me information and insight into this beautiful reading for the collective in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future. And so it is, Ashe. I just really feel like 2022 is going to be a defining moment for many of you. Um, damn, sorry y'all. I got something in my eye and I'm wearing contacts. So, you know, the intensity of the irritation is magnetized by 10. What I was saying before I got distracted, um... I just really feel like this is going to be a defining moment. I'm sorry I got my eyebrows done today and they're itching. My eyebrows grow as soon as I leave. Okay. Um, this is going to be a defining moment for many of you. This is going to be, I say, the pinnacle for those that are in union or in a connection with your twin flame or your soulmate. A lot of healing, you guys. Number 21 on there. 2021 was just pretty much the stage being set. I really feel like 2022 is where things are going to be, you know, in action. You know, things were set in motion, but now it's time for that action, for that healing and speaking of healing, you guys, if you are on this journey and you are really serious about your evolution of your soul, then you should be getting your chakras cleansed on a weekly basis. You should always be cleansing and clearing your chakras because when you have clogged chakras and dirty chakras, it comes in the form of chaos in your life okay your root that is your survival instincts that also is your money your survival okay your sacral chakra that's your sexual relations your solar plexus is your confidence is your dantian it's your power your heart is the door to everything is the key to everything to all of your successes or your unsuccesses, your heart deals with how you treat people and how you allow people to treat you, whether it's closed or whether it's open. Your throat is about speaking your truth. Your brow is to see into the spiritual realm. And your crown is connected to your higher self and source and your angels and your guides. You can't afford to have any of them blocked. All right? Some of you need to heal your chakra system <coughs> excuse me you guys <clears throat> i'm just getting over something and i've been taking medicine that has been helping me but it doesn't help when i go out when i go out it just seems like it sets me back so let's move forward with this so please work on yourselves healing is an integral part of this journey it is the key component to everything moving forward. You're not going to move forward if you're not healing. You're not doing your shadow work. Yes, we are light workers, but guess what? We got a dark side too, and we need to address it. Period. Point blank. We need to address it. So, basically, I just turned these other cards upside down and didn't mean to do it. 
because it looked like they were already upside down, but they weren't. So I'm just straightening out my cards because you know, um, it's messing with my flow. I gotta, I gotta energetically be right for you guys, okay? But again, I guess we can still elaborate on this healing and how important it is. You came here, you want union, and this is what is required. Don't. Oh, I'm going to work on myself. And you still have financial issues. You still have relationship problems. Mm -hmm. You still have health problems. Because you want to do it yourself. Okay? Hire the damn mechanic to fix your vehicle. Hire a beautician to fix your hair. Okay? Go get your nails done and your pedicure done by someone professional. And stop having, you know, Laquisha down the street do your fucking nails. All right, listen, you guys, we got to take out the time and effort to pour back into ourselves. If we don't pour into ourselves, how are we going to attract? If we do not pour into ourselves, let me repeat this again. If we do not pour into ourselves, how are we going to attract someone who is going to pour into us? No, we're going to attract attract the opposite we're going to attract people to us that are going to repel us the same way that we repel ourselves so within so without okay so some of you have been doubting have faith because this is going to happen you know what you guys you didn't do anything to choose this journey this journey chose you Remember that. This is a spiritual journey. This is not a physical journey. The twin flame journey is a spiritual one. And we are spirits housed in a human body. Not the other way around. Know your potential. Know that you are a limitless being. You are powerful beyond measure. I just uploaded a short video where I was using my telekinesis powers to make the smoke from two incense rise straight up. And to stand straight up. We can do whatever we put our mind to. There is no holding you back. If you want to be in union right now with your twin flame, your soulmate, or whoever it is that you're calling in. All it has to do is just be one thought. And in a moment's notice, it can happen. You can get that phone call. Or you can get that knock on the door. It's that simple. When the student is ready, guess what happens? You damn right, the teacher appears. And that's how it's done. You, um, in the collective, those that have really been, you know, dedicated to your journey, both divine masculine and divine feminines alike. For those of you that are awakened and and you're really on your game when it comes to. This journey, you have done a stupendous job. And I commend both of you. This is not a, a, a sexist thing where, you know, or this is not me just being here for divine feminines, but I'm here for divine masculines too. Because we're both masculine and feminine within anyway. Right? All right. So how teachable are you? This is about learning, you guys. This is about growing pains. We're going to grow through this or either we're going to get left behind. That is what this is all about. This is about paying attention. This is about, you know, availing yourself. Okay. This is about going ahead full throttle. Come what may. I don't care if your twin is not giving you attention, spending time, wanting to talk to you, got you blocked from here to Czechoslovakia. I do not care. What is important is your focus. Laser sharp focus is what it's going to take in order for you to win union. And it's not even about the other person as so much as it is about yourself. So within, so without. If you're wanting to re retain union and gain union on the outside, you have to be your complete whole self within. Okay? And that's the reason why I started with the healing cards. Because I was intuitively guided to start with the healing cards. Because a whole lot of you got to... Um, do a lot of healing before this happens, before you can be with your twin. All right. A lot of you are wearing a false mask. Mask off. Like Future said, listen to that song. You guys need to listen to that song. I don't even like Future. <coughs> I don't care for him as a rap artist. But 
that is a song that I feel like your angels and your guides want you to connect with so you can get a download. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I just turned my heat on because it's cold in my room. I don't know what it is, but no matter what house I get, there's always one room that just stays cold as fuck. And it happens to be my room, so I got my heat on. It's not helping me. I got to keep my heat on. So, again, stop wearing that false mask. Stop acting like, oh, I don't want to be with my twin because, you know, he's a this, he's a that, she's a this, she's a that. You guys, you are your twin. Whatever they are, you are. And you can't say, oh, no, they're not, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not like that person. This person does this. This person does that. Blah, 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 blah. Hello? This is what it's all about. This is not about making it easy. Oh, I'm going to block him. I blocked her. I blocked this. I blocked that. You blocked yourself. For all of you that got your twin, block, unblock them. Because one thing that I've learned, even if they block you, at the end of the day, you're supposed to set the example on what it is that you want. You're supposed to be focused on what you want, not what you don't want. You know good and damn well you don't want to block your twin. And even if they're narcissists and they're doing some nasty stuff or whatever, you signed up for the journey. Okay? And what they're doing is they're basically reflecting back to you what needs to be fixed within you. Fix yourself. Fix yourself and that'll fix them. Period. Point blank. No more excuses, you guys. No more. Uh-uh, I ain't going for it because I'm telling you, my, I was married to the narcissist of all narcissists, okay? Hmm. And that man, to this day, will snatch somebody's face off from me. There is nothing that he will not do for me because I learned to learn his moods. And I learned when to talk and when not to talk. And I also learned when to just listen. All right, I think I'm going to have a bonus right here for you guys. Hole in the soul. So a lot of you, again, need to repair. You need Reiki done by a professional. If you're not a professional, don't attempt to do what professionals do. Go to a professional. Pay somebody to do the work for you. This is not for the Mika Hearts, I know. But I'm telling you, you will be happy in the end. That you invested in you. It's an investment to be on the spiritual journey, you guys. I didn't spend so much money. I can I could have brought a house and paid for it and not even have to pay mortgage. And I'm being very serious. If I include workshops and my own personal uh sessions I paid other people for, psychic readings, events, etc. Alright. I love y'all. I know I might sound like your mama right now, but I'm channeling and I'm channeling what I'm hearing the way that I'm hearing it. And um, some of y'all need to hear it like that because y'all y'all say y'all want y'all twin, but then you be speaking negative and you be chewing your twin out, talking about what they not doing or what they need to do. Forget about what they need to do. They, they going to do what they need to do on their own. And you got to have faith that that's going to happen. You can't force somebody into doing something, you know? And why would you want forced love anyway? Either they're going to do it lovingly and willingly or not at all. All right? Okay, so um, this broadcast has been interrupted for this little infomercial. If you have not gotten my Seeds of Abundance book, please go get this book because it will help you to have more money in your bank account and just abundance altogether. Abundance is spiritual. It is not just about financial gain, all right? It is also, um, give me one second. Abundance is about spirituality because if you're rich spiritually, you're rich everywhere else. And the book helps you to change your mindset, the way you view money, the way you talk about money. We've been raised that, you know, money is taboo. It's, it's taboo. It's evil. We are not supposed to love it. But as Reverend Ike, you supposed to love money. He says it all the time. I love money and money loves me. And let me tell you, that man died a rich man beyond measure because it's the truth. All right. 
Um, shout out to Divine Femme. You know what? Before I even get into tarot, shout out to Divine Femme. I love you so much. Thank you so much for my gift. She brought me this new deck on my wish list, which is the essential oil deck. I'm going to pull some cards from here. Some of you guys need to work with essential oils if you haven't already. Essential oils help us ascend just like crystals. All right. They are energetically um, high vibrational and carry high vibrational frequencies, which is where we need to keep ourselves. We need to keep our... Sorry, you guys. I, I just... Uh, I, my neck is not dark. It's just... I don't know. I, I've lost weight in this... The way the light is hitting on it, I'm, it's just irritating me. I'm so sorry. But anyhow, anyway, I'm like, why the hell does it only look like that when I'm in a camera? Well, I get it. I understand now. Anyhow, anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Divine Film Triple Seven. All right. So let's pull some cards from here and continue this, right? Okay. So, man, we got two cards that came out already. The first card is Turmeric. All right. So um rebuilds body mind and spirit i really feel like some of you feel broken a lot of you are having a um a heart chakra issue where you're having a blocked heart is what spirit is telling me it's time for you to unbreak your heart say you love you again it's about you it's not about somebody else coming to unbreak your heart that's why i switched the words okay it's about you loving you if you love you you can't stop nobody else from loving you because everybody is going to want to love and get some of the same love that you give to yourself because what you give, you truly receive. And, you know, you are a magnet. You are attracting your experiences. You are conscious co-creator alongside source. Okay? We are powerful beings. Ooh, we, baby. Lime oil. I love lime oil. I actually use lime oil sometimes when my kids don't bring my deodorant back. And um, I use my lime oil and I go to work just fine. But anyhow, you can use lime oil for deodorant, purifies and alleviates overwhelming feeling. So it lifts up your spirit. You can also put it in a diffuser. So a lot of you bend down, down, down. It's time for you to get up, up, up. It's time to level up. It's time to just know um when to hold them and when to fold them and know when to get back up know when to get back on your feet you are like a cat you always gonna land on your feet in this journey because spirit is not gonna let you down all right a lot of you have lost hope come on y'all come on collective this year is gonna be a year of we about to see because we're gonna wait for Terrell to tell us what this year is gonna be i haven't even came out with a video like that yet and I think this is the video that's going to give us what we need to know for this open portal for 111 22 22 2022. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm just being silly. Okay, celery seed detoxifies and it helps you to release. So, you guys release your past. Some of you release your ex. Even if it happens to be your twin flame. Your twin flame is not the end all, the be all. And you know what? It may not be that you're not going to be together forever. It could just be that you're not going to be together for right now. Release it. Release the pain, the hurt, the trepidation. All of that detox emotionally. You guys, we only think about detox in our bodies. What about our emotions? What about our mind? Okay. I got some stuff that I want to show you. Get some brain food. Um, Get some brain food. Use it for some brain power. I got this uh, stuff I picked up. And it's for your brain. And it got all the good stuff in it. And I want to show you. I'm going to wait until I get my uh, last card here. Hi. Helichrysum. 
You know what? You can drink helichrysum tea too. I, I actually got some helichrysum so I can make me some tea with it. But it encourages forgiveness and promotes longevity. I can't make this stuff up. Some of you need to forgive your person. Forgive them. Don't ask them for forgiveness. Just do it. Not for them, but for you, baby. Because this is holding you down. All right? And, and what is the thing that it says down here? Promotes longevity. So you can live longer. Because when you are holding grudges, it takes away from your life, not theirs. You see what I'm saying? So heal for you, baby. Forgive for you, baby. I'll be right back. I'm going to show you what I was talking about. All right. So here it is. Be smart. Brain fuel. Warrior jelly. Ginkgo biloba. And bacopa. Mononary. So, right, we need to fill our brain. We need to give our brain brain food because we feed everything. We feed our body, we feed our pets, we feed our cars and our vehicles with fuel. So, feed your brain with some fuel, especially if you're like me and you use your brain a lot to help people, to help yourself, etc. All right, you guys, so moving ahead. Moving along. Moving along. What year is this for us, Spirit? What year is it for us? In the collective, give us our card for what year this is. 2022. And I'm running out of freaking space. I work this art altar, baby. Trust me. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. All right. Um, I'm not liking this lighting, but whatever. Spirit. Um, So, Queen of Wands, this is about clearing out karmic cycles and karmic relationships, karmic locations, karmic places, karmic friends. Stop in the name of love. Before you break my heart, think it all over. This is about your passions. Are your passions aligning with what you're telling your twin flame? Or are you just giving lip service? This goes for both parties because I do realize I do get cross watchers. This is about letting your light shine. This is the year of karmic endings. A lot of you guys are going to be saying in the collective, these karma, karma, I'm sleepy. Sorry, y'all. These karmic cycles play out and end for good, like end, end, not end, and the cycle repeat all over again. These are permanent endings that I'm hearing spirit telling me that are coming through. All right, you got the Ten of Wands, which is the Ten of Bones. This is about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, you know, the worst is behind y'all. Like, whatever you have went through on your twin flame journey up until this point, you guys, there, it's not going to get worse from here for many of you. All right, it, especially those that are chimed in and listening in and tuned in right now. It's not going to get any worse than what it's already been. You've already been stabbed in the back. Look at that. You've already been betrayed. Now it's time for you to move upward and onward. You see? This is about you learning from the past. Learning from your past mistakes with the Eight of Pentacles. Eight is the position of power. It's the power number. Okay? It's the affinity sign on its side. 
okay? Because this love goes on and 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 on, all right? Has been for eons and eons and eons, and you guys just forgotten about who you are. You've forgotten about your power. You see, it's time for you to step back into your power, get back into that situation where... Come what may, you're going to do what you need to do for you at the end of the day. And not be waiting on nobody. Because bright futures do come. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. That's the song that's coming to my head. Yeah. A lot of you are going to feel um, vibrant, bright like the sun. I'm hearing that... You know, the way that this person thinks about you, you are their son, you brighten up their day. Like, they just vibe with you the way that they can't vibe with nobody else. This love is uh, not an ordinary love. Alright, so a lot of you thought that this was going to end and be over, and it seems like it's going to restart. Because after every death, there is what? A rebirth. And this Capricorn season as well. So I just feel like that's the energy that's, you know, bringing us into 2022. And we have the higher font. So this is someone who is going to be loyal. They may have had an issue in the past with loyalty. But shoot, they didn't been through enough, okay, to gain momentum. Instead of being behind the eight ball, this person's in front of the eight ball. They got they. They got their stuff together or they are getting their stuff together. They have learned from the mistakes of their past. And you know what? Death is just like imminent throughout these cards here. There is a Grand Reaper staff. This is just like, you know, what what doesn't kill me only made me stronger. It was like a death for them to not be in contact with you, not to be able to hear from you, not to hear your voice, not to, you know, be in your good graces. I just really feel that uh, this is all coming around full circle. That smoke from the incense, sorry. Um, it's all coming around full circle. It's all coming back around again the way that it's supposed to be, right? Um, and you got the Ten of Blades. Wow. The Ten of Wands, the Ten of Blades. Um... So, yeah, some of you have been betrayed big time. Or this person may feel sorry that they uh, betrayed you and overlooked your needs in order to put their needs first. You know what betrayal feels like. They know what betrayal feels like. And I really feel like this person... It's kind of like coming out of a dark place. Like something happened to them where it almost killed them. Um, some of your divine masculines have COVID. And it about nearly killed them or they thought they had COVID. And found out that they didn't. But some of them did really have COVID and almost died. And this is what I'm getting with that energy. And the last card is, um, you know, coming out of responsibilities now being able to, you know, have their head above water and be able to breathe, be able to, you know, function as a citizen in society again. I just really feel like they were alone and some of them may have been drinking. As you can see, this person has a drink in their hand because, you know, life got hard. And the struggle was real, you guys. You know, some of the things that the Divine Masculines have been through with the karmics, putting, uh, you know, stuff in their food to get them to eat so they can control them and dominate them through spell work. Uh, I also feel that the karmics have really been throwing magic heavily on, you know, your Divine Masculine. So your Divine Masculine is shaking that shit off. It's coming off because the higher that they raise in, in consciousness and the higher they raise their vibration, they become unfuckwithable. All right? Those spells are being released. 
And last but certainly not least, oh my God, and it's the Ace of Pentagrams. Come on, we were just talking about spell work. This is them learning their own power, okay? Standing in their sovereignty and calling things in for themselves and just kind of like awakening to this whole spiritual journey. May not know that they're a twin flame or a higher level soulmate or a soulmate, but they do know that this is a journey. They do know that you are a very integral part to it. This is a very slow moving energy, Virgo energy, but let me tell you something. They are moving towards you. It will be long term. It is going to take some time, but this is you guys' year. This is the year of the end of karmic cycles. Aren't we happy for that? And it's a wonderful thing to find out on the open portal. All right, you guys, it is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to, or you can purchase a gift from my wish list on Amazon, and it will appear on the channel. I now wrap you in my love, and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. So it is, everyone. Namaste.